I don't know who need to hear this one today. Stop saying I can't. You can do all things through Christ which strengthen you. Stop talking about I can't. Trust in God. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Wherever you go, take the Holy Spirit with you. From room to room in your house. From door to door. Take the Holy Spirit with you. Don't leave home without him. Trust God with all your might and lean not to your own understanding. Have the faith, have the confidence in yourself that you can. And you can. And today, I done my hair today myself. And I was about to say, I can't because of my arm. And I did because, um, number one, I really didn't have no other choice. So I needed to do it myself so I can get it done. And number two, we have to stop looking at obstacles and circumstances like I can't. And when you need to look at it as, let me find a solution, another way to do this thing. Because I need to do this, and I got that going on, and this just happened, and I wanted to do that. And then, hmm, you, I can't. Yes, you can. Find a solution. Push through. With me, it was my arm. There's going to be another video by itself. With me, it was my, my arm, my left arm. I pressed through. Did it hurt? Yes, I, yes, it did. Was it complicated? Yes. Was it challenging? Yes. I done it. You can do all things through Christ which strengthen you. Take your time. Breathe. Relax. Let go. And let God. So I hope this has helped somebody today. To stop saying, I can't. Put one foot in front of the other. And yes, you can. Be like the little engine that could. The, the train. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And you can. And it all starts within the mind. Have that thought of, I can. And you can. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. Have that self-confidence that you can. And you can make it through. So I thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing the videos. And I'm going to say a quick prayer. Lord God, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for this moment. I thank you that you are the same today, yesterday, tomorrow, and forevermore. And I pray over everyone listening today that they will have a transformation in a mindset to not to think negative. They can think positive. They can have positive vibes. They can think that they can. If they think that they can't, let them come to you and ask. And you will help them. I don't know why my phone just stopped. Lord have mercy. Let them come to you and ask if they think that they can't and you will help them do whatever the situation is. Give them the strength for the journey. Help them to have an understanding that they can do all things through Christ which strengthen them. Let them know that you love them and that you are there with them. You're holding their hands every step of the way. Even when it seems like you are not there, you are there in them dark times and them nights that they keep crying night after night. When they wet in their pillow, you are right there. When they just lost, lost a loved one, you are right there. In that midnight hour, crying for whatever reason they're crying for. Comfort them in their time of sorrow. Strengthen them where they're weak. Build them up where they're torn down. Just let them see the hand of God move in their lives, in their situation, in their circumstances, in their challenges. Let them see the Christ on the inside of me. 
And I just thank you so much for listening to me and answering my prayer. You're such an awesome God. Just bless your name today. I say hallelujah to you today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And if there's anything that I fail to mention in this prayer, please feel not to grant. This is my prayer. I pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. And my phone finna go out in a minute because there ain't no space on it. Make sure y'all check out the description all the information there connect with me on my other platforms